Welcome in the fifth video that belongs to the valve preprocessing tutorial. In the previous video we have made three positions of the plug and divided the geometry of the valve's body into groups of faces that we are going to use as boundaries in the CFD simulation later on. In this video we will prepare a surface mesh, the triangular surface mesh, for all parts of the geometry and we will export it in STL format that is readable by the open for measures. You can continue working in the previous salon session or you can start a fresh session and load the part 4.hdf file we have saved at the end of the previous video. I have started a new session so I have to open the file from the fourth video. So I will click on open and I will open the part 4.hdf. Now we can expand the geometry in the object browser and now we have to activate the mesh module. There are two options how to activate it. The first one is by clicking on, on this icon or the second one is selecting the mesh module in this combo box like this. Let's start with meshing of the inlet part called region 1 closed. Expand region 1 closed and select it. In the upper panel click on create mesh or alternatively you can go into the upper menu to mesh and click on create mesh. Change the name of the mesh for example to region 1. Check if you are in 2D tab and select NetGen 1D 2D in the algorithm combo box. Click on the gear icon here and select NetGen 2D parameters. There is a name you can leave here the default name NetGen 2D parameters or you can change it to anything you want. Change the maximum size uh, it is a maximum size of the triangle edge, so let's set it on one millimeter here. The minimum size is small enough, so we can keep it as it is. What I would always recommend is to set the fineness to very fine. And let's keep all other parameters unchanged. So click OK. And we are done with the mesh parameters for now, so click apply and close. Now we have to set the boundaries that would be made on groups of faces we have created in the previous video. To do so, select region 1 mesh in the object browser, then go into the upper panel and click on this icon, create sub mesh. Or alternatively, you can go into the upper menu mesh and there is a create sub mesh as well. As a geometry here you have to select region 1 inlet phase group and change the sub mesh name for example to region 1 inlet. Now check if you are in 2D tab select NetGen 1D 2D as an algorithm and select NetGen 2D parameters as a hypothesis. We have prepared NetGen 2D parameters in the previous mesh setup. So there is no need to do it again. So that's all for the inlet phase group, so click apply. Let's continue with region 1 outlet phase group. Select region 1 outlet group as a geometry for the new sub mesh. Change the name as region 1 outlet and all other parameters remain the same so click apply and repeat the same for wall group select it as a geometry change the name to region 1 wall and click apply and close you can see the mesh in the object browser. There is the main mesh, region 1. Then there are submeshes on face, region 1 inlet and region 1 outlet, and submeshes on compound, region 1 wall. 
So everything is ready for the surface mesh generation on the inlet part, on the region 1. So select region 1 mesh here and click on this icon, the compute mesh, or alternatively you can find this compute button in mesh, compute. So click on it. It will be meshing for a few seconds. And that's it. There is the mesh statistics. So we can close it for now. And here you can see the mesh on the inlet part, the surface mesh made from triangles. Now we will export the mesh as STL files. We will have three STLs, inlet, outlet and wall. Select region 1 inlet in the object browser. Go into the upper menu, file, export, STL file. Optionally you can here change the name and click on save. And the same for region 1 outlet. Click on it in the object browser, go into the upper menu, file, export, STL file and click save. And the last one, region 1 wall, file, export, STL, save. So we have meshed the inlet part of the valve, region 1, and exported the mesh as STL. So now you should do completely the same procedure for the outlet part, region 2. So create a mesh, create sub-meshes on groups of faces, compute the mesh and export it. This is the mesh of both regions. Region 1, the inlet part, and region 2, the outlet part. And all their STLs are exported now. And the last, last thing is to mesh the plug 5 mm, 8 mm and 11 mm. It is much easier because plug is one part, it is not divided into groups. We should create just a general mesh and we do not need to define any sub-meshes. So let's do that. Create the mesh. The geometry will be plug 5 mm. Change the name to plug 5 mm. As an algorithm, select the NetGen 1D, 2D and as a hypothesis, NetGen 2D parameters and click Apply and Close. Now compute the mesh, close the statistics and show only the mesh of the plug to see its mesh. Yeah, and now you can export the mesh as a STL. Click yes and click save. And repeat the same for plug 8 and 11 millimeters. We have done everything that is necessary. We have now all the geometry meshed with the surface mesh and we have exported it as STL files. Now we can save the progress, so press Ctrl S to save the progress, for example as part5.hdf. And that's all from the valve prep processing tutorial.